Basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. And it is generally considered low grade because it doesn't spread elsewhere beyond the skin locally where it's picked up. There are very rare examples where it can do so, but generally this is not the case. And therefore patients should be reassured that as long as it's removed, there shouldn't really be any other significant consequences. Basal cell carcinoma tends to occur in fair-skinned individuals, uh, people who burn easily in the sun and find it difficult to tan. So it's a combination of genetic propensity or susceptibility as well as the environment. So people who have an outdoors lifestyle, spend a lot of time in the sun, they are more at risk. And also with advancing age, it is also more common. In terms of the way it can present, it's actually quite varied uh, as there are different types of basal cell carcinoma. You can have a very superficial scaly patch which can mimic eczema uh, through to a nodule or a spot which bleeds as well as more plaque-like scar-like appearances uh, known as a morphic basal cell carcinoma. So actually it's quite varied and can be difficult to diagnose. The type of treatment for basal cell carcinoma will depend on the subtype of basal cell carcinoma, the size, where on the body it is, uh, amongst other factors. Um, so it can range from as simple as a cream treatment for superficial basal cell carcinoma through to surgery and radiotherapy. When you have higher risk basal cell carcinomas uh, on the face, which may be more infiltrative and are difficult to define in terms of their borders. These can have tentacles or elements under the skin which you can't see. And in that scenario, Mohs micrographic surgery can be effective uh, as it aims to trace out the roots of the tumor whilst preserving as much skin as possible. Yeah, this can be difficult for patients because the presentation can be very uh, varied. So a common presentation would be a spot which appears in a sun exposed area. It's not going away and it might bleed. Um, however, as I described earlier, superficial basal cell carcinoma can be nothing more than a red patch, uh, which doesn't um, disappear. So the take home message is, look out for uh, areas um, which are new, not going away, uh, that may bleed um, as the most obvious signs. But as always, if there's any concern, do see a doctor for further evaluation. Fortunately, basal cell carcinoma doesn't generally require urgent or immediate medical attention. So if any of the signs which I've already described are experienced, then it is sensible to seek uh, advice or evaluation from a medical practitioner. One other type of presentation, which wasn't mentioned before, is that they can be pigmented. Although often they are red spots or patches, they can be pigmented or dark. And that is another variation. So that can mimic uh, a mole or melanoma sometimes. Um, which can then be uh, distinguished either by a biopsy or dermoscopic examination. 